In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Facebook business page more appealing to your visitors by adding a video cover to it like this one. It's super simple, free, requires zero experience, and you don't need to install anything on your computer, which means you can even do it on your phone. Ready? Hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Last week, I published a video which included a list of some of the best free graphic design and video software I think you should all use. This week, I'm using one of those software to show you how to create a professional Facebook video cover you can add to your business page. So let's not waste any more time and head over to Capwing. Capwing is an online video editor which can help you generate memes, edit GIFs, resize video posts for your Instagram stories and much more. It also includes a preset template you can use to design a Facebook video cover which is what we are going to use today. Capwing offers a free version of this software with zero watermark which is great. All you need to do is create a basic account with them which you can do in a couple of clicks using a Google or Facebook account. So let's start. In the top right hand side corner, click on the sign in link and choose the option you feel is most suitable to you. I'm going to go with a Google account. Once you've logged in, you will be redirected to a workspace where you can access all the available tools via short links and create a new project. This is also where your work will be saved. Today I'm going to show you how to create this cute Facebook video cover I made for a dog walker business page. I have only used free resources to create this banner, including the video and the logo themselves. I'll describe in details how to do this throughout this process so you can do it for your very own business. Let's go back to our workspace and begin creating our Facebook banner. To kick this off, click on New Project. You should see a pop-up window with three different options. Select the first one, start with Studio. You can explore the others later on if you like. Since we are starting a banner from scratch, let's go with the Start with a Blank Canva option. This will take you to a screen where you can start creating your banner. By default, the size of your video will be set at a one-to-one -one ratio, which is ideal for an Instagram video post, for instance. But since we are creating a Facebook video cover, this will not work. To get the correct dimension we need for a Facebook video cover, just click on Custom Size. From the pop-up window, choose the Facebook cover option, which is 830 pixels by 312 pixels. This will fit the required dimensions. Then click Done. As you can see, our canvas has switched to a landscape format. Time to import a video on our workspace. You can choose to import something you have filmed yourself, a video you've purchased, or a copyright-free video you can modify at will. This is what I did for my dog walker banner. Let me show you how. Head over to pixabay.com. If you're new to Pixabay, let me briefly tell you what it is. Pixabay is a platform where you can download and use images and videos for commercial and non-commercial purposes without asking for permission or giving credit. It's super useful and I personally use it all the time. Although the bulk of their assets is image-based, there is still a healthy amount of videos available. To see what's available, type a keyword in the search bar. Since I'm making a video for a dog walking business, I'm going to search for the word dog. Then from the drop-down, filter the results to only display videos and click search. You can see what the videos are like by simply hovering on the thumbnails. They tend to be very short clips. Please note that a Facebook video cover must be at least 20 seconds long. So it will be easier if you can find a clip that is at least 20 seconds long. It's okay if you can't, you can always stitch up several clips together. This one seems perfect for what I'm trying to do. To download the video, just click on it. Then click on the free download button. Select the size you want. I'm going to go for the smallest one. Then click on the download button. That's it, you're all done. We can now bring our clip on our workspace and start playing with it. Click on the upload link in the main navigation bar, which will bring an upload pop-up option. Upload or drag the clip from wherever you saved it on your computer. As you can see, the clip doesn't cover the entire banner. You can easily resize it by grabbing the blue handles from the corners of the video until it snaps to the edges, which will be highlighted by some red lines when it does. Right below the video is the timeline, which you can start by pressing the play button. 
you can access the frame by frame timeline by clicking on the open timeline button right here. This is a very important functionality of the video making process because this is where you will be able to adjust where you want any layer of your video to start or end. Within Capwing you can easily do this by hovering on the clip and either drag it and reposition it or simply reduce the length by grabbing the edges. More on this in a minute. Once you've finished adjusting the timeline you can click on done to return to the canvas. My video is now loaded on my canvas but I want to add a few things to it like some text and a logo. I don't have a logo yet so I'm quickly going to create one from scratch using canva.com. If you're not familiar with canva.com yet it's an online software that allows you to create designs you can use for your social media channels your website and pretty much anything digital related. Canva's drag and drop functionalities makes this tool extremely easy to use, allowing you to create designs in minutes with preset templates. Just like Capwing, you'll need to create an account using either a Facebook or Google account. Once you've logged in, click on the create a design button and start typing what type of design you want to create. Today, I want to create a logo for my Facebook banner so I'm going to simply search for logo. From there you can quickly search for existing templates that may fit with your business type. If I search for dog walking for example I get three results one of which I particularly like so I'm going to drag and drop it on my workspace. To modify any element just hover on it and either resize it change the color, the font, add some more, it's completely up to you. You can also create your own unique logo from scratch but for the sake of this video I thought I would use an existing template. Once you're happy with your changes just download your logo. Let's head back to Capwing and continue crafting our banner. This time I'm going to add my newly created logo to the mix. To do this I just need to click on upload once again and fetch the logo from where I saved it on my computer. What I want to do here is make the logo as prominent as possible without overlapping the video of the dog. So I'm going to reposition and resize both so it all fits nicely together. Perfect. But I also want my banner to be quite playful and add some text as if the dog was thinking out loud. To do this I just need to click on the text option from the main menu which is going to automatically insert some text on a banner. I want to give the impression the dog is desperately waiting for his master so he can be taken for a walk and time the copy with the dog's behavior starting with the line his back. To amend the text I can simply double click on it. To format the text you just need to use the panel on the right hand side. You can change the color, font, size, alignment and even animate it which I will show you in a bit. Now for the timing. As I said I want the text to be timed based on the dog's behavior. To do this I just need to click on the timeline once more. There you will see all the different layers which you can adjust precisely for when you want them to appear. I want my logo to appear towards the end of the video so I'm just going to reduce the length of it by dragging the edge of it. And I want the copy to appear when the dog first lifts his head up. Using the edge of the text layer I can simply bring it to the exact spot I want and also reposition the copy so it's on the right hand side. I'm happy with the result so I can click on done. The size of my font is way too small so I'm just going to increase it to let's say 96. But this big white square is ugly and it will not work with the color of my logo so let's quickly fix this and change the background color of my banner. Much better. Okay let's introduce a second interaction with the dog's behavior. I'm just going to click on the copy and select the duplicate option from the right hand side panel and change it to nope. I need to adjust this new layer so it appears exactly where I want it to so let's go back to the timeline and make those changes. As I'm positioning the layer at the right spot I'm also shrinking the other line of copy so it disappears at the right time. I'm going to repeat the exact same step for the rest of the copy so I get to this results. If you are wondering where the emoji comes from there is a library of them you can access via the image option. 
We almost there. Let's add a couple of final touches. I don't want my logo to appear abruptly, so I'm going to fade it in by using one of the preset special effects in the right hand side panel. Finally, I'm also going to add a strap line under the logo that says, don't make him wait, right at the end of the video. Once again, I'm going to format it using the right hand side panel, but this time I'm also going to animate it. To animate the copy, select it first, then click on the animate button in the right hand side panel. Capwing has five different animations you can add to your text, as well as the option to modify the speed of it. Let's go with the flicker option and click done. I'm going to adjust the strap line so it appears right at the end of the video. So for the last time, click on the open timeline option and adjust the layer so it appears very shortly after the logo fades in. Perfect. Let's click on done and play the whole thing to see the end result. That looks pretty good to me. Awesome. All you need to do now is to click on the publish button in the top right hand side corner. Wait for a couple of minutes for Capwing to render your banner, then click on download. Once your banner has finished downloading, head over to your Facebook business page and add your brand new Facebook video cover to it. It is now your turn to create a stunning banner. Capwing has made video editing super simple and if you ever wanted to up your marketing game and start a YouTube channel, for example, I think Capwing will likely be the best option for you. If you don't know how to do that, check out my tutorial right here, right here. And for more free software, you can watch this one here, I think. Until next time, happy marketing.